Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited. Electric CH-750 takes flight under NUNCAT's development. AEA opens job-seeking site for aviation electronics professionals. Britton Norman obtains type certification for tiny twin turboprop. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. I'm your host, Holland Lee. Let's get into today's stories. Electric CH-750 takes flight under NUNCAT's development. NUNCATS has seen the first flight of its Zenith CH-750-based electric Sky Jeep at the UK's Old Buckingham Airport. The project aims to create an affordable, sustainable electric courier aircraft to provide health service to remote communities. NUNCATS, or No Unnecessary Novelty Community Air Transport Services, hopes to provide a stable, reliable form of backcountry transport for doctors, teachers, and medical supplies. Whether used by charities, governments, or NGOs, the electric Sky Jeep will allow them to tap into existing networks of solar-powered energy wherever it's installed. With the right grid, operators can turn remote towns and villages into functional operating bases with minimal upkeep required to keep on trucking. The test flight is a significant step forward for the project, helping the group identify possible pre-production tweaks before embarking on wider trials. The Community Interest Company, which has partnered with U.S. Zenith Aircraft Company and several startup investors, is the work of Shipton-based husband and wife Tim and Helen Bridge, who founded the company in 2019. Their goal is to provide the market with a robust light aircraft with all-electric performance at an affordable price point. And after the break, First Block 70 F-16 takes off from Greenville. Unbridled passion, unequaled performance, unlimited possibilities. Hartzell Aviation, you are cleared for takeoff. Introducing Hartzell Aviation, leading general aviation companies united by the Hartzell guiding principle of built on honor. A commitment to uphold the highest standards in quality, performance, and support. Hartzell Propeller, Hartzell Engine Tech, Hartzell Aerospace Welding. We are Hartzell Aviation. Now boarding at HartzellAviation.com. Are you tired of tucking your phone under your headset to make a call? and having cords and adapters strewn about the cockpit? Experience wireless cell phone communications and your personal music with Pilot Communications Blue Link 2. Blue Link 2 gives you a wearable link to two Bluetooth-enabled devices at the same time and can even control your phone and music. Use Blue Link 2 with your existing headset or a Pilot Communications headset from pilot-usa.com. Throughout the globe, Piper Aircraft has hand-selected the very best in company representation, service, and support. From first inquiry to acquisition to product support, Piper Aircraft ownership is seamless and worry-free. Piper Aircraft authorized dealers, factory trained, factory connected. Welcome back. Now let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. First Block 70 F-16 takes off from Greenville. The first new production Block 70 F-16 took flight from Lockheed Martin's Greenville, South Carolina facility. The flight marks the first completed F-16 made at the facility after moving production to Greenville from the older Fort Worth, Texas location. The test aircraft is the latest and greatest of the venerable Old Falcon and the first of 16 jets bound for Bahrain. Demand for the F-16 stands at 128 back orders placed for Block 70 and 72 aircraft and counting. Covington Aircraft renews PT-6A overhaul authorization. Covington Aircraft Engines has obtained a renewal of their status as a factory authorized maintenance, warranty, and support facility for the PT-6A engine. Their place as a Pratt & Whitney Canada designated overhaul facility authorizes them to work on 59 models of the venerable PT-6A, providing service to North and South America. With locations in the U.S. and Brazil, with another plan for the U.K., Covington is shaping up to cover a significant portion of the globe, long after its early years working on radial engines in Canada. Michigan man dead after firing on police helicopter. Last week, a 33-year-old man pointed a laser at a patrolling police helicopter. The helicopter crew informed police dispatchers, quote, We got somebody hitting us with a green laser on the rear of the house, upper window, end quote. The gunman fired at the helicopter multiple times. Muzzle flashes and spent cartridge casings shone brightly in the air crew's thermal imaging optics. Michigan State Police troopers responded, approaching the residents on foot. 
Wileyer and Keener eyed then rational. The gunman spotted the officers and fired upon them. The troopers returned fire, resulting in his fatality. Starlink expands reach to McMurdo. The National Science Foundation has begun relying upon SpaceX's Starlink Internet service, allowing far better connection to the country's most far-flung research sites. McMurdo Station, the epicenter of American Antarctic research, has been using the service since fall of last year, but expansions in uplink equipment has expanded Starlink's reach beyond the bounds of the large base camp. SpaceX has been picking up speed in launching its Constellation, currently sitting in the neighborhood of 3,400 satellites out of a total projected array of almost 30,000 in all. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's get back to the rest of the news. AEA opens job-seeking site for aviation electronics professionals. The Aircraft Electronics Association has sweetened the pot for members of the group, adding a website to recruit and retain employees throughout the avionics industry. The site, aerocareers.net, is designed to be a, quote, one-stop shop to help recruit and retain the next generation of talent, end quote, offering a few tools and highlights particular to the electronics market. Along with its focus on AEA-applicable careers, the site shines a light on career paths in aviation, links to member job listings, scholarships, aviation schools, veterans' resources, educational aids, salary data, and more. AEA President and CEO Mike Adamson said, quote, Developed by a team of industry representatives who acknowledge the path to a career in aerospace can take many forms, this workforce initiative strives to provide clear and simple information for those who aspire to reach a higher altitude. Business owners, aircraft technicians, pilots, engineers, marketers, and manufacturers all joined the effort to sharpen the focus on opportunities in aerospace and make the path to success easier to navigate. It's a resource for anyone interested in aviation and something the entire industry can use when promoting careers." End quote. And after these messages, Britain Norman obtains type certification for tiny twin turboprop. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit FlySkyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. Well, hello, fellow pilots. I'm John Kay. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Britain Norman obtains type certification for tiny twin turboprop. An exciting contender to the twin-engine turboprop commuter segment has just been type certified, with the British Britain Norman Islander on its way to the States. The BN2T 4S Islander sports a pair of Rolls-Royce Model 250 engines on each of its high wings and Storky fixed gear. The Islander has been approved by the UK's CAA and EASA, with progression on its type certificates in Canada and India. The new markets will greatly expand the reach of the BN2T4S as a strong contender in the rough-and-tumble twin-engine turboprop market. The 40-foot-wide Islander sports a set of fixed tricycle gear and nine-seat commuter arrangement for reliable passenger operation, slotting in nicely in a niche somewhat unexplored in today's market. The Islander, or Defender, in UK military service can be had with the usual nine-seat configuration, but a bevy of mission-specific configurations allow Islander buyers to round all the bases of special-use aircraft. The executive model sports conference tables and rear-facing seating, the air ambulance racks for stretchers, and the special mission a suite of ISR workstations. Whether medevac, transport, or maritime patrol, the Islander could just be the ticket. And that's our show for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, or Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne, and don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching!